Hello, I'm Kerry Tucker with the Australian delegation and the Australian Greens is well established now for 13 years and we have four senators at federal level and we have about 15 state members and 80 local government members and it's a great pleasure to be with you here today, our neighbours in the Asia Pacific region and this is a very helpful occasion. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Ngo Nang, the, from the Sanasi Party of Cambodia. We are currently in the position, and uh, I uh, have the privilege of being here with all of you in the common uh, objective in terms of protecting the environment. Because the issue of environment also is clear issues that Cambodia has been facing, and so uh, we believe that if we all together, come together, perhaps uh, we could uh, make something different. And uh, the Party hold uh, 24 seats in the parliament of 123, and we are just uh, about 10 years old party. And our uh, votes has been uh, increased every time this election. And uh, up to now, we have over 1 million voters support for our party. And we are looking forward to a very bright uh, future for our party and Cambodia. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Demetrio. Uh, I'm delegation from East Timor from an organization called the Agoras Foundations. Uh, this organization is not uh, a green uh, party, but uh, it's a non-governmental organization that uh, supported environmental issues in East Timor with a strong uh, spirit, or a strong uh, uh, green spirit. Um, I believe that uh, if we work, work together, to promote uh, healthy and equitable ecological health that will bring the food for back to all of us. Thank you. Um, hello, my name is Lipe Tutumbo from Fiji. I'm from the Pacific Concerns Resource Center, the Secretary of the Nuclear Free Independent Pacific Movement. Um, our mission is to um, articulate and disseminate information about the struggles and exploitation of the people and uh, of the people in the Pacific and its environment. Thank you. Hello, Yorana. My name is Moena. I'm from French Polynesia, more known as the islands of Tahiti, Bora Bora, Moria the dream island, the love islands. <laughs> um, represent the ecologist political party of Heura Libe. It is a political party. Our parliament consists of 57 seats. For a very small country, we have a lot of political problems. Right now, since six months, we have two presidents, even though we are ruled under the French country. Thank you. My name is Roma Shankari, and I'm from India. Greetings from Manfred Trump Collective and Vasudai Vakutumbakam. Uh, I'm doing organic farming and uh, the social science background. I also do a little bit of research in water and agriculture issues and also participate in various people's movements, farmers' organizations, agriculture workers' unions, and so on. My colleague, Suresh Nautia, please put up your hand, is a green activist and also a journalist from the Himalayan region. Now, I'm not from a green party. In fact, many people uh, have been asking me why a large country like India does not have a, a green party. Uh, I would like to say that uh, political parties uh, are don't enjoy a great amount of credibility in India. Uh, there is a historical tradition of the uh, civil society being the conscience speakers in India, and uh, while there is no green party, there is a very very active. Uh, civil society, non-party, non-government uh, uh, activism in India, which plays as the, the role of conscience speakers in India. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 
Fabi, would you, would you please? Hello, everybody. My name is Fabi Tumiwa. I'm here from, uh, I'm from Indonesia, and I'm not representing any Green Party in, in Indonesia. I say there is no Green Party in my country. Uh, we have a lot more than 30 political parties, but no, uh, among the 30, there is no Green Party. So uh, they are very weak in terms of environmental agenda. But I'm here, I'm, I'm with the NGO Working Group on Power Sector Reforms and also the Education Innovation NGO, NGO on, sustainable, on Sustainable Energy. So we, we work on the on the on the promoting the alternative energy policy to Indonesian government and also to the political party. One of the one one of our agenda is to push the government and also to, uh, the political party in Indonesia to have to set a target on renewable energy and clean energy sources. Thank you. え、日本語です。すみません。え、日本語レストです。え、私は緑のテーブルの小林一郎と申します。え、緑のテーブルは英語名ではグリーンズジャパンとなっています。え、緑のテーブルでは意味がちょっとわかりにくいので。え、私た
110名の地方議員と市民によるネットワークの団体です。オーストラリアには神奈川ネットワーク運動の野崎さんと私2人参加、代表者の国に添えたんですけれども、今回は緑のテーブルの仲間も増えて、日本での緑の政治を目指す指揮グループがだんだん増えてきている、そんな状況じゃないかと思っています。今日の会に大変楽しみにしております。I'm from Korea. Green Korea United is a environmental uh, organization in Korea. Uh, I'm Jenan Kim, um, Secretary General of Green Korea United. Uh, Green Korea United activists based on ecological philosophy. Uh, we have many pastors. Uh, we activities are based on many pastors. First, respect of life. life. Second, construction of a sustainable society. Uh, third, realization of non-violence and peace. Uh, fourth, realization of um, participatory democracy and green policy. Uh, thank you for Asia Pacific Greens Network. My name is Hyeryang Kim a member of Goyang City, Korea, a member of Goyang City Council, uh, Korea. Uh, there are 20 participants from Korea, 19 members of Korea Greens, including five local councillors, 11 leading members from Korea civil society in the areas of environment, peace, energy, and agriculture, and then three young Greens. Uh, we made short video to introduce to Korea Greens. Uh, please don't miss our short video introduction tomorrow during the break time. And feel free to talk to Korea Greens at our booth as well. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am from Mongolia. My name is Sandoz. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Japanese Greens for hosting this important meeting. Uh, and uh, here is my colleagues, Mrs. Bong, uh, the Secretary, and uh, from ecological NGOs, uh, Ms. Andras. Uh, our party is 50 years old, <coughs> and uh, we have uh, more than 300. Uh, 3,000 uh, members and uh, green activities. And you can find uh, more information in the, this uh, kind of book in for participants. Uh, we will support, uh, always we will support our uh, strong incorporation in our big region. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kamala Sharma. First, I would like to thank Enrich Ball Foundation for uh, sponsoring us. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been here. We are from Nepal, Green Party. We have five delegates. The party is working on ethnic group, and uh, we are working on the village side because uh, we had an anti-corruption movement this Green Party had launched five, uh, seven years back. Now it has become a very popular slogan among all the parties and recently there have been a lot of changes in our political system. system. The king has taken over because of the corruption itself. So one slogan and one movement of green parties has been very successful in Nepal. And we are working on uh, deforestry also and I am working among the thing poor people and destitute and women empowerment. I should thank all my senior executive central committee members for letting me sit over here because that itself we have started as a women empowerment because I am a very yeah. junior central committee member compared to them we are represented here. And I am working with the village, uh, 24 village uh, people where I support them for uh, healthy drinking water, pure drinking water, 
education, that is the program of Greenpeace Party, uh, Party over there in Nepal, and empowerment of women and into politics. Thank you. I beg your pardon for my bad English, uh, I am French. <laughs> I have prepared uh, a, paper, a paper, but uh, it is in my suitcase, and my suitcase uh, tried to find in uh, another way. <laughs> uh, I represent uh, New Caledonia. Uh, my name is Didier Baron. Uh, my party, the name of my party is uh, uh, Green in New Caledonia. We fight with uh, uh, Aboriginal Canucks in New Caledonia for independence. We fight against uh, a nickel company as uh, Inco or Falcon Beach who want to beat uh, big clamp in New Caledonia. And uh, we, we fight to uh, uh, to put on a World Heritage uh, list uh, coral reefs uh, in New Caledonia. We have no uh, politics uh, uh, in uh, assembly in uh, New Caledonia because uh, the principal uh, preoccupation of uh, uh, New Caledonians is uh, independence or no independence. And it's very difficult to, for us to uh, to, de to defend the uh, environment uh, in New Caledonia for our country. Okay, and I hope uh, we fight uh, together uh, for the world because uh, I think uh, New Caledonia, Australia, Japan uh, is not uh, now uh, uh, a single, a single fight. Uh, we have to fight for the health now. Thank you very much. I bring you warm greetings from the Green Party of Aotearoa, New Zealand. My name is Ian Ewan Street. I'm a member of Parliament in New Zealand. There are nine of us in a 120 seat assembly. It's a, a single camera assembly, so we have no Senate. It is a great privilege to be here in Kyoto in this week that the Kyoto Protocol comes into effect. New Zealand is a, is a country of 4 million people and 60 million sheep. <laughs> and our rather unkinder friends would say that makes 64 million sheep. <laughs> 4 million of whom think they're human. But the reality is that we have led the world in, in a number of ways. We are, and have been for many years, a nuclear free country. We have an official policy of being nuclear free. <laughs> We remain free of genetic, genetic engineering. We have 38% of our parliament are women. Not only that, our prime minister is a woman. Our attorney general is a woman. Our governor general, who is the Queen's representative in New Zealand, is a woman. And the chief justice is a woman. I think, I think middle-aged males are becoming an endangered species. <laughs> We also have a significant representation of Maori. A significant representation of Maori, our indigenous people. Uh, they have their own separate seats in the same assembly, but they are also able to be elected, and they are elected through the general seats. We should be able to lead the world in alternative energy, as we've been discussing today, but unfortunately we don't. But that is certainly on the agenda for the Greens of New Zealand in the coming term. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Liakat, uh, I'm from Pakistan Greens, locally we say South Pakistan, this means the Pakistan Greens. Pakistan Greens established in 2001-2002 uh, and till we are working in the Pakistan politics is very difficult. Uh, you know, one thing I uh, found uh, in my uh, credit is we got uh, one seat of deputy mayor of uh, one town, Jatabad. So the deputy mayor is belong to the Green Party. And most of members are the younger, youngsters, youth, because 
in Pakistan, the 170 million population is 65 percent people are below uh, the age of 25 years. So this is uh, we have two uh, logos of our almost all the slogans of our party: the move for change and the next generation politics. So this is the next generation politics we are doing in Pakistan, mm -hmm. and uh, we are also working in the social sector. Uh, we have uh, our NGOs, uh, Youth Action for Pakistan. This, the NGO affiliated with the South Pakistan is working in the social sector, and especially focused on the youth issues. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I look black, but I look different from all of you. I am from Papua New Guinea, it's north of Australia. Uh, my name is Monica Hasemani. I am the General Secretary for Papua New Guinea Greens. We have 600 <coughs> membership, and most of them are from one province, in the western province of Papua New Guinea, where the organic copper mine is. And I would like to thank the Rainbow Greens of Japan for making it possible for me to come. And a special thank you to Senator Paul Brown and Margaret Blackers of the Australian Greens for helping us along. Thank you. I'm Morgan Dahapan, and that's good afternoon in my language. I'm Anna Rakas, and I come from a country as tiny as I am, the Philippines. <laughs> Uh, in contrast to what our friend from New Zealand said, the Philippines is more than 60 million people and very few sheep. <laughs> so today, I represent an organization of individual activists who made a lifelong commitment to work for social reform and transfer transformation, and we call ourselves the Philippine Greens. In the Philippines, we don't have a political party yet, and the, Fili uh, the Philippine Greens is just a political movement. Uh, we don't have a political party that is yet, but I hope that I can learn enough today to bring back home, and maybe the next time we meet, we will have a political party. Salamat. Magandang hapon din, and just a good afternoon from the Philippines. I am Rayo Santos, representing Youth for Sustainable Development Assembly. Uh, like in New Zealand, we also have uh, a president uh, who is a uh, woman, uh, President Guerrero Mahapagal Arroyo, who is all our support for mining, large-scale mining and logging. And so, uh, it's not really a sexual issue or a sexual orientation, but rather, uh, we believe uh, our organization is a non-government, uh, as she said, uh, we still don't have any structured uh, political green party in the Philippines, but we hopefully, we hope that we sincerely believe that this is a good experience for us to initiate a move to create a formal party that will uh, really uh, push a green political agenda in the present administration. Uh, YSDA is a youth organization. Uh, we define youth uh, something 15 to 30. And uh, we believe that we want to show a best practices in sustainable development. Um, so far, that's the only thing that I can say. Um, uh, I'm, I'm very glad and I would like to thank the organizers for supporting us in order for us to participate in this particular and important uh, conference. Thank you. Mayum uh, Hapun, that's another way of saying good afternoon in the Philippines. I come from southern Philippines in the island of Mindanao, the land of the brave and the free. In, in freezing Kyoto, uh, it's very good uh, to feel the warmth of our fellow Greens from the Asia Pacific. You know, the Philippines has a crazy political system with crazy people in it. And in 2004, I was one of the crazy people who took the challenge of participating in the election. The small party that we had started in December 2003, Felvin, some candidates, one for the lower house, and I ran for the local elections. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, we lost. Uh, but it was a significant step uh, to bring the green agenda into the mainstream of politics. 
because as we live in the brink of uh, societal collapse in our country, we're either going through a bloody revolution or uh, lawlessness. And our offer as a Green Party, I am part of the group of Partido Kalikasan of the Philippine Green Party. Unfortunately, two of my companions are not yet of voting age. Uh, Job only. Uh, uh, we, the Green Political Way is our alternative to a peaceful transition in a very chaotic society. And I believe that's also a reality in the Asia Pacific and elsewhere in the world. By the way, my name is Ben Cyrus Lirurin. I'm a freelance journalist. I keep my body and soul together, but I also do campaigns on against coal. I'm the one of the spokespersons of the Filipinos against coal and also active in the campaign against genetically modified organisms and the first species. Our group is one of the foremost groups for, uh, pushing for a total land ban in the Philippines. Thank you. Konnichiwa. Hello, my name is Paul Gakalia. I'm from Solomon Islands. I bring with you warm greetings from the South Pacific. My country had the image of the, the Happy Isles for many years since we had independence from the British. However, in the last five years, our people have suffered and we have seen uh, for the first time the power of gun running and uh, the power that the, the weapons can destroy the community. I work in the Ministry or the, de the Department of uh, Rehabilitation and Peace. Uh, our message is to try and restore the country. My tenants in here is also to pursue peace, good governance, as basic tools that we could use to help restore our country. Today we have a helping hand from the Australian and other Pacific countries that come in first in the, in the form of military setup and now with the police to try this for our country. I'm very happy to be here because uh, the Australian Greeks, through the support of Senator Brown and, and Margaret Blakers, have been able to uh, look after me to come over. We do not have a Green Party in Solomon Islands, but the environmental issues are well looked after by NGOs. I come here to look and see, and if I'm convinced, I believe the seed of a Green Party would be conceived in this conference. And I believe with the documents that I've accessed so far, maybe we will have a Green Party starting in Solomon Islands. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Boan. It's long life. That's how we do. Greetings Sri Lanka. I'm Prasanna Pule from Green Party Sri Lanka. I'm the Secretary of Green Party Sri Lanka from its, uh, since its inception. We started uh, almost four years ago and have been active uh, at grassroots levels and also at policy level. And uh, we have expressed our policy in uh, various occasions and in uh, one such occasion uh, that is with regard to a big uh, dam building project in Sri Lanka. I would uh, especially I would like to extend the uh, thanks of my party to the uh, rainbows and greens of Japan who helped us. And uh, in fact, I'm happy to say that um, so far we have been able to hold this project. And uh, so far uh, we have no representation because we have not uh, faced any elections, uh, but uh, we are hoping to uh, have our candidates uh, for the next uh, local government elections, uh, which is uh, to be in next year. And uh, tsunami of uh, December 26th, uh, as all of you know, has uh, that really hit our country and uh, of course we think that uh, not only <coughs> reconstruction, also rethinking is needed for our country and uh, we are uh, trying to uh, 
they, they know our ideas in that uh, direction uh, in our country. Uh, I thank the organizers and the sponsors for the Indigenous Community Atmosphere. Hello, I'm Saranjan from the Green Movement of Sri Lanka. The Green Movement of Sri Lanka is a uh, network of organizations. We represent 144 NGOs and CBOs in Sri Lanka. Uh, we are the, uh, the almost the environment and development NGOs working in the uh, all of the country. Our main task from last 10 years, we are try to uh, uh, work on the policy lobby and advocacy in terms of environment and development. And at the moment, we have a big fight with uh, the Sri Lankan government and another four governors. We, uh, uh, we see that the World Bank, Asian Development Bank, Japan Bank for International Cooperation and IMF, uh, they wanted to implement the uh, PRSP called the Power Reduction Strategy Program without any consent of the people. So we are highly fighting with three issues at the moment. One is the privatization of water, land and forest in Sri Lanka. And we hope uh, we, are, uh, we are working with the people who displaced, discriminated by the large scale uh, development projects in Sri Lanka. At the moment, we are working with the people who are politically and socially discriminated in uh, the tsunami disaster. The mainly the minorities, uh, minority people in the eastern province of Sri Lanka and also some parts in the southern have been discriminated uh, in this tsunami relief efforts. So we, the Green Movement of Sri Lanka, with the assistance of uh, most of the Greens of, of the world, we are doing uh, our best to keep them alive. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yang Wen Pen, representing Green Party Taiwan. Uh, Green Party Taiwan was uh, established in 1996 um, by a group of environmental activists, uh, feminists, and uh, animal rights activists. Uh, I was also a founding member of Green Party Taiwan when I was a graduate student. Um, okay, it's a pity that uh, we Green Party Taiwan ha hasn't any elected representative so far. But uh, um, as as we are going to revise our election system this year, so we look forward to to be uh, to take advantage of the new proportional seat system, just like the case in Germany. And this time for our group, there's a special mission for our group, that is to collect a petition endorsement from all of you uh, to call our government to stop two uh, CO2 intensive uh, development projects. Um, as some of you know, that Taiwan is not uh, recognized as an independent country in the in the world. So our government will value international pressure very much. That's why uh, your, your uh, endorsement will be very important for our campaign uh, to protest against these two projects. So uh, we we'll appreciate your endorsement. Thank you. Mr. Gokichiwa, uh, Achim Minister. I uh, come from the island kingdom of Toma, and I realize that I think that I'm the youngest uh, member of this uh, green network, um, in the sense that Toma is only 100,000 people. Uh, a very small island kingdom of about 150 small islands. Um, we have only about uh, 200 and uh, about 500 square kilometers of land, spreading on about uh, 500,000 square kilometers of ocean. So we have more fish than we have people. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so uh, I come here. I, I am a, an ordinary minister of the United States, but I work full time as general secretary of the. The National Council of Churches, 
At the same time, I work as the acting director of the Human Rights and Democracy Movement in Tonga, and I'm here to uh, represent the Human Rights and Democracy Movement as part of the Green Network. Uh, our main objective is to, to see that there is some change in uh, our government and to advocate an empowerment uh, for the people's capacity for uh, more voice, more representation in Parliament. Uh, as you all understand, we have an island kingdom, uh, we have a constitutional monarchy, who, with our Parliament, 30 members of our Parliament, he appoints uh, 12 government ministers, and only nine are elected by the people. The other nine are elected by the uh, nobility who are in turn uh, nominated by the king himself. So, our struggle, and we also want to thank you, Satoko and Tato, for all your coordination and allowing us to be here, and all the sponsorship that have uh, allowed us to be here. But I think our appeal here that uh, this sponsoring organization can continue to support our cause uh, so that people will have more representation in our parliament. Uh, hopefully, uh, in terms of uh, renewable energy, Hopefully, Tonga, as the only island who have not signed up or ratified the Kyoto uh, Protocol, hopefully, a change of government will enable Tonga uh, uh, in the future to sign up for the Kyoto Protocol. Thank you and very much. Uh, Thank you. I am from the People's Movement for the Green Politics, and I'm also the Senator. We come a uh, three person from Thailand on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a Green Party in Thailand yet, uh, but uh, the People's Movements are very strong. The people in Thailand, uh, they uh, protest against a uh, dam project and uh, electrical uh, factory and they are very strong but uh, unfortunately uh, the, the Thai people many of them don't understand the movement of the people and they think that uh, the people's movement is uh, not agree with uh, development so uh, our movement is try to educate the people through the media all kinds of media and I gain a lot a lot of uh, energy from from this uh, SFS Big Green Kyoto meeting. I get a lot of uh, how to say enlightened from the example of every country here. Thank you very much. Hello. Uh, my, uh, I'm not uh, uh, speaking English uh, very well. I'm Silas uh, Nathan. Uh, I'm from uh, Vanuatu. Uh, I'm happy to, to be here. And uh, uh, Vanuatu, Vanuatu Green Party was uh, established uh, five years ago. And uh, we have uh, six elected members in, in Parliament. Including uh, six, uh, uh, sorry, seven local councillors, and uh, we are we are currently in in government now. Uh, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Mike Feinstein. I'm a former Green Mayor of Santa Monica, California, and the webmaster for our global website, globalgreens.info. We want to say hello from the Green Party of the United States from the other side of the Pacific, and to let you know that we are honored to observe your meeting, and to let you know that Greens in the United States do not support the Bush administration or United States unilateralism on this planet. 
and we are here with you today to show that we believe that we are all one human family and we are one family with all the species on the planet. The future will be green. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you very much. And we, uh, on the spirit of we are all on one planet, we have a message from our friends in the European Greens and Catherine Grove is going to give us that message. Uh, hello, my name is Catherine Grove. Um, I represent here the European Federation, which is now in fact a European Green Party because we turned ourselves into a European party. Uh, I must say it's with lots of emotion that I'm here. Um, as you know, many of the faces that I see here, I've seen them from years ago in Canberra. I have two things that I wanted to testify on after I have heard you here. Our host from Japan was talking about the expansion of the global greens. I wanted to say two things. I was in India in the social forum in Mumbai two years ago. And the Global Green Charter had been translated in Hindi. We had a meeting with about a hundred people who had all read the charter and who knew it all almost by heart, better than I did. So I felt that the conscience you were talking about is really close to green politics. This is one point. The other thing I wanted to say too, I'm just coming back from Brazil, where the Porto Alegre Social Forum was, and from a meeting of the um, American Federation. And here again, the news are good. Um, Mike talked about uh, the USA, but the Canadian Green Party has developed a lot uh, recently. And also in South America, the Brazilian Green Party. Uh, which is now 54 mayors in Brazil and seven members of parliament. And they are fighting very strongly against GMOs and nuclear issues. So these were the news I wanted to give you. I do not come only for support, uh, but also looking forward uh, to the political outcome of this meeting. Because we know in Europe that if you're stronger on this side of the world, we are stronger too in Europe. And we need that energy. Thank you very much.